six years, seven years ago. Yeah, I'm going to call the flights. Well, good morning. We're delighted that you're here with us today on this beautiful rainy day. <laughs> rainy day in Georgia. And uh, I'm, I'm delighted to be here for this, uh, with the Lieutenant Governor and uh, for this occasion today. We're here to announce that uh, our drive to bring a Brazilian Consul General to Georgia was successful and the country's leaders agree with us that Georgia is a natural home for a large consulate serving the southeastern United States. We're grateful that President Lula signed the authorization for the new consulate last month and has been ratified and we're proud to officially open the office today. The Brazilian Consulate General in Atlanta will be responsible not only for the standard sorts of things, uh, consular services like issuing visas and providing support for their citizens living here, will also have a focus on economic development as many do and that entree into the business community of Brazil and Georgia will be enhanced by the very presence of the Consul General here. Our friends in Brazil are frankly already some of our most important trading partners. In 2007, the country earned the ranking of the eighth largest economy in the world. And frankly, uh, Ambassador, we've got a lot to learn from Brazil, certainly in energy. Uh, we know that it's not only an economic powerhouse in Latin America, but it's also a world leader in petroleum and alternative biofuel production as well, uh, being completely energy independent. Uh, one of those things that uh, we aspire to, and uh, hopefully you all can help, uh, help us uh, understand how to do that but Atlanta is home to the Brazilian American Chamber of Commerce and uh, we uh, uh, that has also been a great uh, facilitator of important business interactions and relationships between uh, our two places and Georgia has a trade office one of the ten one of our ten trade offices in the world located in Sao Paulo and uh, this office uh, works to attract businesses to our state to promote Georgia tourism and the interrelationship between our economies. The private sector in Georgia is also capitalizing on the great partnership between us. The Metro Chamber of Commerce, SAM, has designated Brazil as one of its top priority countries for enhancing business relationships. And we know that connectivity through air travel is important. Delta Airlines has six daily nonstop flights from Atlanta to uh, both Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, and we're never more than a 12-hour flight away from our partners in Brazil. So we know that Brazil is a serious and, and growing influence in this hemisphere. It's a leader in South America, and as Georgia fulfills our vision of becoming an international capital, our friendship and partnership will become more and more vital. So I want to thank each of you for joining us here today for this very special occasion. Sometimes uh, when you work for something for a while and it comes together, it's, uh, it's really special. And we, we're we excited about this announcement today. I want to thank Hemisphere Inc., the Georgia Department of Economic Development, and many of you, the Chamber, for all of you, had, have had a part in, the, in this to some degree. And this has really been a team effort, and we're delighted it culminated here as well. So uh, without further ado, we want to hear from our newest uh, Consul General in Atlanta, representing the nation of Brazil and uh, representing the Brazil in the uh, six southeastern states. Help me welcome Ambassador Aldalio Ghana. Georgia is a 
all of the development of the United States. And exactly Brazil decided to have a consulate here as a fourth step of expanding relations between Brazil and the United States because we recognize that Georgia today is, uh, plays a very important role in the United States and it's a hub for uh, incrementing or enhancing the relationship. Many companies of Georgia have already established in Brazil. We also have some Brazilian companies here in Georgia that could uh, cite some, Dow, uh, in Steel, uh, WEG, and Rack and electrical uh, equipment and parts. There is a recent Brazilian store artifact, which is a good designer and furniture tent, also that I hope could also have flights directly from here to Brazil soon. Uh, and also trade has increased almost 30% a year since your visit to Brazil. Uh, but we are focused now on the potential. We have done a lot, but there are much more to be done. And we have also uh, seen some opportunities in many sectors. We have been working with the Metro Chamber, uh, with Commissioner Ken Stewart and his team. This is Gretchen Corbin has recently gone to Brazil. And we have uh, seen opportunities, for example, in ethanol, biofuel, in space, uh, in pulp and, uh, and paper, engineering companies that would like to come to Georgia. Then we have many and then of technological cooperation, and this will be our main focus. Of course, we have here a Georgia development has attracted a huge community. I think that people is always wise. The, the government is trying always to catch up with the people. And we have the huge community that we will be working on them. But we uh, took some time to be here, but now we are here <laughs> to work very hard with you. But I would like to conclude in saying that uh, I have many thanks, first for you, Governor, for uh, your work, for your visit to Brazil, for your pushing, for having this consulate relationship with Brazil. Here, but also all my friends, uh, Commissioner, uh, Lieutenant Governor, uh, Metro Chamber, and Jim Perry. I know my colleague councils because I now know exactly what is the southern Thank you so much. Any questions for the uh, Council General? Uh, Mr. Consul General, could you describe the territory over which you'll have uh, jurisdiction from Atlanta? Yes. Uh, uh, the Consulate General here will be responsible for the southern states except for more precisely North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, besides Georgia. Yeah. Other questions? What are some of the conditions uh, here in Georgia that, that make this a, an ideal location for the council? Yes, as I said, uh, we see in Georgia huge potential. Georgia is one of the states that is developing vastly in the United States. Atlanta is a, a great hub in the United States. We have many company, companies uh, which have uh, red parties in Atlanta that have been already in Brazil and want to strengthen this relationship and also we could uh, see uh, the interest of some Brazilian companies to come to Georgia and as I said too the trade is increasing very fast. Are we able to offer some incentives to Brazil that make the state a very good place for them to come? Absolutely, great quality of life. <laughs> <laughs>